Hi, I'm Allison. This is Wonder Crochet. Today, I thought we could chat about 12 of my favorite free summer themed crochet patterns because who doesn't love free patterns? <laughs> and I picked a nice variety so we don't just have amigurumi. There's clothing patterns, there's bag patterns, just a lot of neat stuff. But I'm not giving off the summer vibes right now. <laughs> Let me change. That's better. <laughs> so I made a list of all these patterns, so I thought I'd chat about them with you. And all the links will be in the description. And honestly, I haven't made a lot of these yet, so I'll just pop a picture in here. They're all on my to-do list, which is very, very long. <laughs> and if you're new here and you don't know how to crochet, if you'd like to learn, I have a full online course linked in the description where I teach you how to crochet plushies like these from the very beginning. So let's jump into these free patterns. The first one is actually my pattern so we're starting out with some self promo and it is for this no sew flower pillow. It's pretty large and it's a really easy pattern. I used sweet snuggles yarn with this so that it, it makes a big pillow and there's no sewing required so if you're sewing adverse which a lot of crocheters are, this will be really easy for you to create. And I'm also making a purple one right now. I haven't finished it yet, but I'll post the finished one on my Instagram. Our second free pattern is from my friend Amy, Curious Papaya, and it's this giant bee. <laughs> Look how cute that is. She has so many cute giant patterns and I can't believe that this one is free. So if you like amigurumi, you love bees, seriously check it out. Also, if you're making my flower pattern, and you want to make a big bee to go with it, I think that would be really cute. And if you want to check out her other patterns, she has a lot of giant patterns. She has <laughs> this adorable frog. Now this is a paid pattern. The bee is a free pattern, uh, but she has a whole series of pillow animals and they're really easy to follow. So check it out. These next two free patterns are not amigurumi patterns and they're both from TL Yarn Crafts. If you don't follow Tony, you should definitely give her a follow. Her stuff is beautiful. I actually took an in-person Tunisian crochet class from her and it was so much fun. She's so talented. Okay, <laughs> uh, this one is the Saltwater Afghan. Please look how beautiful that is. This is on my to-do list. The next one is this Fresh Market Tote. If you like to go to farmer's markets in the summer, this is absolutely perfect. And it actually works up pretty quickly. So if you enjoy making bags, I definitely recommend this one. This next one I love. It's from A Menagerie of Stitches. She has so many cute patterns and she does a lot of pattern books, but this snake plant is adorable. I love any type of crochet plants. I've been getting into crochet plants a little bit more, so you'll see a little bit more of that on the channel soon. But if you're into crochet plants, the snake plant pattern, really easy to follow. And Lauren also writes crochet pattern books. These are not free, obviously, but are really great, especially for beginners. Uh, this Crochet Cafe one is one of the first M. Groomy books that I got, and it has just the cutest patterns in it, like this hot dog and ketchup and mustard. <laughs> so I'll link this in, in the description as well. If you want to check out her crochet books. If not, she has a lot of free patterns on her blog. So check out this snake plant and all the other ones as well. These next two are summer clothing items, both from For the Frills. If you're just getting into crochet clothes or if you're experienced, for the Frills has so many good quality free crochet patterns. Seriously, check out their blog. This is the Skylar crop top, it's called. It's so cute. And what's nice about crop tops for the summer is they work up pretty quickly. And if you don't want it cropped, you can keep crocheting to make it just a little bit longer to have a tank top as well. So we have the Skylar crop top and this is called the Maya crop top. Once again, really, really cute designs and surprisingly easy patterns. This is coming from someone who really struggles making clothes. So if you want to make these cute summer tops, check out For the Frills. And these next two patterns are both my patterns. This first one is this little frog. Uh, this is a beginner friendly pattern. So I have the free pattern for this on my blog. And then I also have a full tutorial for this on my YouTube. So if you would rather follow along that way, it works up really quickly. And if you do farmer's markets, frogs usually sell pretty well at farmer's markets. And I also have a version of <laughs> the frog as a butterfly or frogger fly as someone affectionately called it. If you want the mod for this, just shoot me a message and I'll send it to you. This next one, I actually don't have a physical one because I sold it, <laughs> but it is my ice cream cone pattern. Really easy. And you can make a lot of different colors. I did this one with rainbow, so I crocheted white parfait chunky and the retro stripes from Red Heart, you can see right there. I crocheted them together to create a rainbow look, but also the new parfait chunky pom-pom yarn would work really well with the ice cream pattern. So you can have these cute, colorful sprinkles 
as your ice cream. So this is a free pattern on my blog. It's on my Ribbler as well if you use Ribbler and it's easy for beginners. This next pattern is from Nicole Chase, this plant hanger. If you're a plant person like me, I love stuff like this where I can make as kind of decor in my home. And all of Nicole's patterns are really easy to follow and well written. So you should definitely check this out as a summer pattern. And she has so many free patterns on her blog, but she has a whole line of free dinosaur patterns that are all really cute. So if you're into amigurumi, definitely check those out, but check out her blog anyway. She has all types of patterns. And then our last two patterns are from Not Bad. First is this pineapple. It's called Popular Pineapple. And I think it's such a unique pattern. Vincent has so many, so many crochet patterns. He's like the king of crochet. But this pineapple pattern is perfect for the summer. Such a cute amigurumi and would work up really cute in super bulky yarn too. And then this last pattern, also by Not Bad, is multiple patterns in one because it's a create your own garden. And how fun! If you have kids, I think they would love this. Or to give as a gift to someone with kids or to have on your own if you love gardening like me. I'm definitely going to make this set and check it out. Check out Vincent's vlog. I'm telling you, there's a ton of crochet patterns there. So those are 12 of my favorite free summer crochet patterns. If you like these types of videos, let me know. Let me know what theme you want to see next for crochet patterns and give me a follow on Instagram where I post all of my projects and love to chat with you there as well. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you real soon.